Yo, what is good guys and welcome back to the channel. Just before we start today's vlog, I did wanna make it known that I'm doing a giveaway in today's video for a free minimal double layer hoodie. We're gonna be doing a review on it today in today's video, but more than that, I wanted to go ahead and bless somebody with a hoodie for completely free. All you have to do is like today's video, comment your Instagram handle down below, subscribe to my channel, and of course, be following me on Instagram. Make sure you follow all the instructions and keep an eye out in my Instagram stories as I will be announcing the giveaway winner in just a few days on there. Anyways, that's that. I hope you guys do enjoy today's video as we vlog over at PacSun for the Fear of God Essentials drop and take a look at some brand new garments. Yo, what is good everybody and good morning. It is currently Thursday, drop day for Fear of God Essentials drop or delivery number two. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. Hold on, this, this is kinda loud. Let's get in the car real quick. All right, now, what I was saying was, I'm not gonna lie to you, I wasn't exactly enthusiastic about this release and I wasn't quite as interested because I've been so busy with a few different things. Number one being uh, the clothing line. Now, and I've been kind of repeating myself, but if you guys don't know, I'm gonna be releasing the Locust and Wild Honey clothing line pretty shortly and I will have a link in the description uh, to where you can sign up for email notifications because what it looks like this first drop of inventory was not even close to enough and uh, you guys seem to be pretty excited about the the hoodies and the shorts but what i will say is this there's a lot of really awesome stuff on the way uh, the samples are coming in and uh, they're coming in really nicely so yeah, we're on a bit of a roll now for fear of god delivery 2 um, it's not that I was not enthused because of, I guess, the content or the subject matter. I just truly wasn't really paying attention. Woke up this morning and the Facebook group's kind of going off. Like, you know, oh, like links, da 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 I was like, yo, what? And then sure enough, there's a drop that it just seemed like it caught me like by total surprise. It's 10.04 right now. So the store opened like four, four minutes ago. I don't know, maybe people are gonna be like me and the stuff's gonna be sitting and there won't be a huge line or this could go very poorly and then we go back with nothing. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and focus on driving. I'll catch you guys once we arrive over to the Irvine Spectrum or the location to where uh, Paxson is at. All right guys, so uh, things are looking kind of crazy here at the Irvine Spectrum, I'm not gonna lie, it's very busy. I'm not sure why, it's 10 o'clock or it's like 10.20 right now. Saw quite a few people already leaving Paxa and getting back into their cars with Paxa and bags. So I'm assuming the line's either really short or Paxa's going really quick. Either way, either way, it's not looking uh, too, too uh, hopeful because with all these people leaving with their Paxa and bags, that means there's not going to be as much inventory for us. You guys want to hear something so dumb? With all the PacSun commotion, seeing everybody, like I rushed out of my car and I left my wallet in my car. Let's hope that they accept Apple Pay. We'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, we got yeah, a lot of PacSun bags out here. Let's see what's, what they have left. Is this a line right here? Uh, or is there a line? Uh, not anymore. You can cut fire. I can help you out. Are you trying to buy anything? No, we are not. Uh, Give it a look here if that's all right. Yeah, but the only thing is that no exchanges, no returns. Uh, you can't touch the items. If you want to see the items, let me know and I can. Oh, I can't touch them. No, you can't. Like touch just put up to my body. Yeah. Oh, if you okay. Want me to do it for you, I can do it for you. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. You. Thank yeah, you, man. Out, you, okay, fair enough. Thank you so much. Um, if you want, like, got the trousers here. Yeah. Gotta restock. Oh, this is from First Drop. Um, uh, could you grab those for me? I just want to like sure, see if right? they'll fit me. The runner shorts. Ones, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Those are very yeah, short. Right. They're kind of short. So I want to be able to just hold them up to my waist. You want me to hold it up for you? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Like right here. Oh yeah, those are way too short. No, I can't do that. I can't do that to people. No. Okay. Uh, do you think you could just like? Uh, I just want to see what this looks like. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. You, uh, would you mind pulling that out, please? Right? Would that be alright? Yeah. yeah. That's a small. Yeah. Ooh, okay, yeah. That might be way too oversized for me. Extra small? 
Uh, I don't think so. No? Okay, okay. No. Uh, do you have a small or extra small nose? This one, right? Yeah. Uh, the sweats or? Oh, the sweats, please. I think the top. Oh, fire, that's small. a small right there. And large. large. We only have a small and large right All right, here. Uh, can I run those? I'll, I'll, I'll run those. Yeah, a small? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, would you, uh, could I, uh, I, could I touch the hanger? Yeah. Oh, right fire, right, fire. Right, right, cool. uh, yeah, these look like they're going to fit pretty big, but I, th I think, I think they're doable. Yeah. I think they're doable. Okay. So you want to get these? Yes, please. Yeah. If all that's right. all right. Oh, this is actually kind of nice. Oh, I'm sorry. There's actually no other. Yes, sir. All right. So, um, successful outing. Got a few pieces. I don't know, I, like I said, I wasn't really too, too keen. And actually from the last release, I picked up pretty much everything. They actually restocked on a lot of Delivery One as well, which was nice to see. I know that the coaches jackets uh, were reselling for a nice little chunk of change, but they had them all here, which is very good. Guys, I think you guys are gonna see Paul after dark when we get in the car because, man, like the employee was awesome. Very, very awesome. That was working with me you guys so we're back here in the car and um as you guys saw i was able to purchase a couple of pieces pretty much the only pieces that i was kind of interested in uh with that being said I, I just wanted i i don't think it can go without being said anymore like this has been an ongoing theme over the course of probably the better part of like maybe 18 months or so with these fear god essentials releases at paxon Honestly, I just can't keep my mouth shut about it anymore. I feel like, you know, you extend grace, you extend grace, you extend grace, you extend grace. And it's like, I don't know, you can only go so far until like it, it, you need to bring it into the light. You know what I mean? And by no means whatsoever am I suggesting anybody stop shopping at Paxson. That's totally up to your discretion, you know, like let the market figure itself out. But based on my experiences that I'm going to share with you today, and based on the many, many complaints in the Facebook group, I just think it's about time that maybe there was just a little bit of accountability and maybe hopefully somebody at PacSun uh, sees this, but you're, you're scaring away the culture, man. Like you're scaring away what makes up a majority of your consumer base and maybe that's the point. Like I know they are pretty against resellers from the beginning, from the jump, they were very proactive in trying to nullify the effect of resellers in store. And I, I, I have nothing but respect for that. But when it comes to the point where, you know, you're treating the clothes more precious than you're treating human beings. I don't know. I feel like that's a line that we shouldn't really cross. Because it was pretty ridiculous. It was pretty ridiculous. And today was probably the most ridiculous it's ever been. And why I say that is like, you guys know, like, I'm not a huge fan of the non-exchange policy, but, you know, it does make sense. You know, sometimes resellers are going to buy some bricks and they don't want to be the people that just mitigate the risk of these resellers' investments. Okay, fair enough. We could live with that. But no more exchanges, no more try-ons. Riddle me that. I, 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 just, I, I don't know how that makes sense necessarily, like why a person can't try it on. I mean, if a person is trying on the garment pretty much ultimately means that they're gonna wear it. That's why they're purchasing it. And so that doesn't make sense to me. Nordstrom, other companies, by the way, they don't have this. I don't wanna like go too hard on PacSun. And I've said this before in the past and I just wanted to reiterate it. Regardless of like my personal experiences in the store, it's by no means on the fault of the employees. I've honestly, more often than not, all the employees are really, really cool, including the managers. The managers are just doing what they have been told to do. So in retrospect, they're just being good employees, managers and employees alike. I don't know. I, I just hope that like a part of the strategy isn't to just get rid of like, I guess the culture, if you will, now that, you know, Essentials is very, very mainstream now. I don't know, it's just kind of whack, man, like the way, that the people were treated. You know, I've seen a lot of these people at these drops for years now, and they're constant customers and they're always there. But the fact that you were yelled at like a child, you were scolded like a child, if you were to touch something, it's just so egregious to me. I don't really appreciate it. I find it extremely corny. Like, I find it extremely corny to treat freaking cotton 
better than you treat people. That is so, so whack. And with that, um, that's my rant. I like, I don't know. I, I hope that this doesn't come in bad taste. Uh, it's just been an ongoing thing for, you know, for over a year now where they're, where they're treating people like that. And I don't know, hopefully, hopefully, I don't know, hopefully something good comes out of it. Yo, what is good guys? So we are here at a spot that I like to shoot my B-roll at. And we're gonna continue with today's regularly scheduled programming. But I figured it might be cool to give you guys a little BTS as to like what it looks like to make content and stuff. And so it might be a little bit of uh, news to some people or a bit of a spoiler, or maybe it's not. Uh, generally speaking, I put the stuff on for a good amount of time and I'm feeling all that good stuff before I actually do the little sit downs. You guys ask me what I shoot on. This is one of my favorite lenses right now. This is a 24 millimeter G Master 1.4. Uh, the camera, this is my main shooter. This is the A7S III. And then what I have on here is a 24 to 70 2.8 G Master. Very, very sharp lens as well. All right, so I'm just going to change it real quick. I uh, got the goods right here. Woo, okay, so just got done, took some pictures uh, for Instagram as well as for the thumbnail. Speaking of thumbnail, I should probably just take one real quick. Humidity is just unreal today. So, maybe we got that done, but unfortunately I didn't get to shoot the uh, the double layer hoodies out here just because it's, it's just way too hot to be changing and wearing double layer hoodies. Now that's done, I'm getting some personal errands out of the way. I know that I need some groceries, so I'm gonna stop the grocery, then come back to the house shoot the talking head section of today's vlog where I, I review this stuff and i can't wait to show you guys my uh my actual opinions because yeah it's surprising here we have the hoodie that everybody's been talking about a lot of people have requested uh, me talk about the double layer hoodie from minimal uh, in the facebook group and in my dms as a matter of fact and so i have it in hand here i also have the yeezy vision 2020 hoodie uh, this is kind of like the gold standard of double layer hoodies, um, at least from my perspective when it comes to fit and a quality and its weight and all that good stuff. So I decided to use this to compare to this. And uh, actually the double layer hoodie from Minimal comes in a multitude of colors, including colors that were not available from Yeezy and Gap. So let's go ahead and open this boy up and see what we got. All right, so the size that I went for is a size medium. And from my understanding, based on the measurements online, this hoodie should fit exactly like the Yeezy Vision hoodie as its proportions are exactly the same. So you're gonna get the same great drop shoulder, oversized fit, uh, and boxy form. It's also gonna be pretty cropped. And so if that's something that you're concerned about, I definitely suggest sizing up. For reference, I am 5'7 and weigh about 160 pounds. But overall, it's a very fire hoodie. And the main differences are not gonna be based on the fit or even the color. Because I mean, the color is pretty much identical. What I will say is this, Minimal went a different route with regard to the garment's weight. The double layer hoodie from Yeezy is very, very thick. If you own the hoodie, then you already know it's a, it's a very heavy hoodie. And that is because this hoodie is roughly 440 GSM. If you guys know what that means, then you know that's a very heavy hoodie. As you get from this hoodie here, um, in no way, shape or form would I suggest layering something like this. Now, because that it's spring and summer, and because uh, it is gonna start to warm up, a Minimal dec did decide to go with a double layer hoodie that would have a garment weight that is a little bit lighter, and this was with pure intention. The reason behind that being is because 440 GSM at times can be a little bit overbearing and a little bit too insulating. And for that reason, Minimal did decide to go ahead and go with a lighter fabric, still double layer, and you're still gonna get that same structure and how the hoodie forms to the body. If I was to make an estimation or comparison uh, with regard to like how heavy they are respective to each other, uh, this one here is the Yeezy and this one is the Minimal one. I would say that the Minimal hoodie is a little bit lighter by like, I wanna say about like 30% or something. It's it's definitely lighter and I can feel the difference, but at the end of the day, it's still a double layer hoodie, so it's still got some weight to it. 
Now, what's really great about the minimal double layer hoodie is that it's priced at a reasonable price point of, I think it's $60, which is about half of what the Yeezy Gap hoodie goes for and a small fraction of what the Yeezy Vision hoodie goes for. But overall, I'm super satisfied. So if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, uh, to a very expensive hoodie in the Yeezy Vision hoodie or even the Yeezy Gap hoodies. Look no further than minimal. And if you do decide to go ahead and purchase one, be sure to go ahead and save some money by using my discount code Paul10 or PaulFB to go ahead and activate 10% off your entire order. All right, and so let's go ahead and take a look at what I did end up purchasing at PacSun or the store that shall not be named. I'm just kidding. All right, so first up, I did purchase a 1977 t-shirt with the flocked logo out front. Now, the reason why I did purchase this t-shirt is because I do have it in iron, but I felt like the t-shirt was a little bit too big. And as of late, I've been wearing shirts a little bit more form-fitting to my body, especially when I'm wearing baggier bottoms. And for that reason, I decided to go ahead and take an extra small. As you can see up front, it has the flock logo 1977 and um, i'm really a big fan of these t-shirts because they did an excellent job with regard to the fabric as well as the collar the collar is nice and thick and just feels of very premium quality so at 45 bucks i figured why not grab another tee and then the second and last item as you guys saw are the polar fleece storm pants I love the camel print that they went with. I love the storm pockets on here because it's a nice detail, but it's subtle. And overall, the weight of these pants is excellent without being too overbearing. And I feel like that is a fine line that is very difficult to go ahead and execute. So as this name entails, uh, they are a polar fleece, which is pretty insulating. But what's nice is that they're not too, too bad because you have the mesh lining, which makes these pants pretty breathable. This pair here was the last size small and the last size that was anywhere near fitting me. And that's why I ultimately ended up purchasing them. In hindsight, I probably would have sized down to an extra small. I'm a waist size of a 30. And I do find that these are doable, but I have to tie the waist kind of tight. And with them being a size small, they are on the extreme side of baggy. All right, and so that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button as it does let me know to keep the content coming. Go ahead and join the giveaway if you are interested in winning a free double layer minimal hoodie. And as I've reiterated time and time again in the past, guys, it is an insane privilege of mine to get to serve you through making content. And honestly, I'm just insanely humbled that you guys come and support me and all that good stuff. And yeah, I just appreciate you guys very much. As always, as and everybody here at Locust Wild Honey, peace and be blessed.